everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we will see introduction of environmental economics and demography with mcq especially for ugc net in economics we will see introduction about all this important topic like environmental as a public good market failure cost theorem valuation of environmental goods theories of population concept and measure fertility morbidity and mortality demographic dividend and migration what do you mean by environmental economics environmental economics mainly tell us relationship between environment and economy as we know some economic activities can cause of environmental pollution for example you are owner of factory and earning lot of profit but your factory is cause of environmental pollution that means you are earning profit but at the cost of society environmental economic analyze all these issue and suggest economic tools like taxes and subsidies in order to prevent all these activities environment as a public goods public goods are provided by government for example public park public road street light etc public goods are non rivalrious that means supply of public goods will not reduce no matter how many people are using it for example supply of street light will not reduce no matter how many people are using it public goods are non excludable that means you cannot exclude any individual for using it for example public park is part of environment so many people are coming in this park and making this park dirty but you cannot exclude this people for using it even if they are not paying any tax to government for repairing it and this is problem for our economy and become cause of market failure market failure when market fail to produce and distribute goods efficiently it will be called market failure causes of market failure externality when your activity give loss or benefit to unrelated third party for example you kept garbage outside of your home because of you your neighbor is suffering it will be called negative externality public goods in case of public goods market fail because you cannot exclude people for using public goods and people are misusing public goods imperfect market like monopoly is earning highest profit without investing any money on improvement of environment asymmetric information where one party have more and better information than other party for example tenant deliberately damaging property of a landlord but landlord don't have any information about this behavior but in this case our market fail because this is morally wrong and it will be called moral hazard and moral hazard is part of asymmetric information incomplete market when private sector are not able to provide goods and services even people are ready for paying for this for example uh, some private sector are not able to provide good health facilities even people are ready to pay for this it will be called incomplete market course theorem course theorem is given by ronald course course theorem provides solution of negative externalities what do you mean by negative externalities when your activity give loss to unrelated third party it will be called negative externalities for example you are owner of factory and earning lot of profit but your factory is cause of environmental pollution because of your factoring a factory people of society are suffering your activity giving loss to unrelated third party it will be called negative externality and course theorem provides solution of negative externality according to course theorem if property right are properly defined and transaction cost is zero or very low then private sector can bargain for negative externality by their own without any intervention of government for example mohan have property right mohan has permission to use this factory in such a case people of society will request to mohan please reduce your production we are ready to compensate for your loss so here you can see course theorem provides solution of negative externalities valuation of environmental goods people think environmental goods are free that's why they don't value environmental goods they misuse environmental goods valuation of environmental goods means assign monetary value to our environmental goods there are three method of valuation of environmental goods contingent method under contingent valuation method we directly ask people how much money they are willing to pay, pay for specific type of environmental goods under hedonic valuation method while calculating property price 
as we add environmental factor also that's why hedonic valuation is a function of a, a s represents structural characteristic like number of room n represent neighborhood characteristic for example uh, distance from school z represent environmental variation like uh, quality of air so while calculating uh, property price we add all these uh, factor it will be called hedonic valuation method under traveling cost method we want to know value of recreational site uh, for example zoo park beaches and we can know value of recreational site by number of visitor and how much money they are willing to pay for entry fee theories of population first most important theory of population is malthusian theory of population according to malthusian theory food supply grow at arithmetic rate but population grow at geometric rate that means population grow faster as compared to food supply this is very complicated situation for our economy our population is growing but we don't have food to eat that's why we need to control population and we can control population by two checks positive checks and preventive checks positive checks are natural circumstances that reduce population for example so many people are dying because of earthquake war and preventive checks are deliberate action to reduce population for example late marriages birth control methods or proper family planning second important theory of population demographic transition theory stage first high stationary where high birth rate and high death rate early expanding here death rate fall due to improvement in healthcare facility but uh, birth rate remain high stage 3 late expanding here birth rate declining while death rate also continue falling birth rate declining because people are becoming educated and they are using contraception stage 4 low stationary low birth rate as well as low death rate some also propo propose a fifth stage declining which belong to high developed country where birth rate below than death rate optimum theory of population optimum theory of population describe desirable size of population where we are maximum utilizing our existing resources plus our per capita income is high this theory talks about uh, three stages underpopulated where resources are uh, more than population that means we are not uh, properly utilizing our resources our resources are under utilized so per capita income is low here population is more than resources that means our resources are over utilized so in this case per capita income also low here resources are equal to population that means we are maximum utilizing our existing resources that's why here our per capita income will remain high concepts and measures of fertility morbidity and mortality fertility means actual reproductive performance of population measures of fertility are crude birth rate total fertility rate general fertility rate morbidity state of being ill or you can say that state of being injured and the measures are disability adjusted life year health adjusted life expectancy mortality death within population measures crude death rate a specific death rate infant mortality rate demographic dividend demographic dividend is accelerated economic growth which occur when working age group of population grow faster as compared to non working age group and dependent uh, population and migration means movement of people from one geographic location to another in order to receive better economic opportunity there are mainly three theory of migration according to new classic economic theory of migration migration is voluntary choice of individual according to new economic theory of labor uh, migration decision are taken in group uh, not by individual in isolation according to lee push pull theory of migration some push factor means some negative factor force uh, people to migrate in other location now we will see some basic question public goods is defined by two characteristics our right answer is non excludable and non rivals non excludable means we cannot exclude any individual for using public goods non rivals means if supply of public goods will not affect no matter how many people are using it so our right option is d what is economic problem associated with non excludable nature of public goods our right answer is free rider problem free rider problem means people are using public goods without paying any price for this or you can say that people are using public goods without giving contribution in their cost for example people are visiting in public park making public park very dirty 
even if they are not paying any tax at all but we cannot exclude these people for using public park it will be called free rider a problem so our c is a right option which of following is not cause of a market failure monopoly is cause of market failure monopoly charge higher price by charging higher price monopoly do exploitation of consumer monopoly on higher profit without investing on environmental pollution so monopoly is cause of market failure externality is also cause of market failure because your activity giving loss to unrelated third party public goods also cause of market failure because you cannot exclude people for using it but perfect competition is not cause of market failure our right answer is b in reality cost theorem often fail to provide complete solution for externality because our right option is d transaction costs are often significant high and prevent efficient bargaining in cost theorem we assume if property right are properly defined and transaction cost is zero or low then private sector can bargain for a negative externality but in reality transaction cost is very high that's why people can't bargain efficiently so our right option is d transaction cost are often significant high and prevent efficient bargaining so this is all about today's video coming days i will make separate video on each topic with more mcq thank you so much for watching bye take care